You know, the first thing I want to say is that all of that happened. But very similar things happen at many institutions, as you know, even in the state. Uh, and so things, similar things happen at the University of British Columbia, at the University of Cincinnati. And so um, the one thing I want to make very clearly is that the University of Michigan, if you look at across all of its campuses, it, it doesn't take away the fact that it's a remarkable institution. Um, and uh, certainly there are things that uh, have to be fixed. Uh, there's work that has to be done. We have been actively working on that as an institution. Mary Sue Coleman did a fantastic job in starting to address it. We're talking about it today, later today, with the executive officers. Uh, there'll be a further uh, progress that is made in, in the short term, but also in the long term. Uh, it's part of what I think I was brought here to do. It's part of my responsibility to start to move the institution from that uh, situation to a better place. Um, I've done it before at other institutions, and uh, I'm ready to do it here at Michigan as well. There were policies that were, you know, revamped over the last couple of years uh, before you, you did arrive. How yes. have you evaluated those, and, you know, what have you liked about some of those changes? What do you think more could be done? Like I said, Mary Sue Coleman's done a great job. It's a really strong foundation. Uh, we will build upon that foundation to make it even stronger. She and I have been talking over the past uh, three months, so... Uh, we really are aligned in the path forward, and I'm really looking forward to working with the EOs, the entire university community and the regents, to roll out uh, further uh, iterations uh, for that base that she has created.